Hi, in today's One Access tutorial, we are going to be covering how to access the Charlotte Observer through the public library. So if you've stopped your subscription to the Charlotte Observer, or you simply go to their website and you can't access some of their articles, I'm going to show you a way to actually be able to access all of their articles, including historical ones, by logging in through your One Access account. So I'm starting on the CM Library homepage, which is cmlibrary.org. And then if you scroll down, you'll see an option for resources. Once you click on that, it brings you to this screen and you can start searching if you know what you're looking for, or you can go and browse their A to Z list. I'm gonna go straight to the A to Z list. If you scroll down, we are looking actually for the Charlotte Observer, which you can see here. To learn more about what it offers, you can click the learn more option. And what's great is One Access has updated all of its information to include both an English as well as a Spanish description. So if you take a look, what's included in your access uh, through this news bank database is the Charlotte Observer, but historical access as well as the most current publication, which would have been today, August 1st, or October 1st. And you can actually choose to view the Observer as an image, so like the actual newspaper itself, or just their text files. You also have uh, access to the Charlotte Post as well. So in order to log in, you're gonna click where it says access now. When you go to click access now, if you are prompted to type in your library card number, don't forget that as a CMS staff member, your login is simply the letters CMS plus that 10 digit NC ID that we use to log into NC Ed Cloud. If it asks for a pen, it's the last four digits of that NC ID. For students, their library card number is simply their CMS student ID number and it if it asks for their pen, it is their four digit birth year. So I was actually already logged in. So now that I'm here, I can choose to search by topics or I can actually go straight to the Charlotte Observer. Uh, so you see again, you have the Charlotte Post here. I'm actually gonna go into the Charlotte Observer and then your options are here for the way to view it. So obviously I'm looking for the Charlotte Observer and I want 2018 to current. So you have two different versions. So you can do the newspaper with the image or you can actually do the newspaper with the text. And that actually goes back further because they only recently started doing with the images. So I'm actually gonna choose the one with the image so you can actually see the full newspaper layout. So you'll notice uh, recent issues are here, but you can also browse by dates. So I'm actually gonna show you the most current one, which is today's October 1st, 2020. So if I click on it, it actually takes you to the newspaper that was published for today. So you have the options to um, zoom in or zoom out. You can clip portions of the newspaper. Uh, you can cite it as well. So if your students are referring to this for any information for research, you have the option to save to your own folder within this database. You can download it and then share it with your students in the class. So if you don't want them to have to go all the way through logging in, you have the option or you can copy the link. If you copy the link, they will be asked to sign in. It's easiest to go through one access for them. It also gives you more information or you can actually search if you know an article that was published within this newspaper. So to re read, you just keep scrolling through. You can go to the next page and then it even provides thumbnails off to the right as well, if you take a look here. So again, it is the entire newspaper there for you to read and you're not paying for a subscription. Every student and every staff member across CMS has access to this database through the public library. Again, this was just a brief tutorial about how to access the Charlotte Observer through our partnership with the public library and One Access. Thank you.